we're very lucky to be able to live down here. Growing up, I spent most of the time down at the beach. We tended to bring out the kayaks and we'd go fishing on the water. Some of our friends had jet skis and stuff, so we'd, we'd end up spending the whole day down out on the jet skis or going for a swim. It's just like a personal little holiday permanently. With a twin, it's probably the best thing. I've always had a friend with me and always had someone to muck around and play with. Growing up, we were playing netball, football, basketball, a little bit of everything. I think the football probably came from the backyard. When we got drafted to Carlton together, we were absolutely stoked. We're both definitely more excited for this season, the fact that we'll actually get to play together. Being injured last year, I think it was pretty tough, but there were times that it was a lot harder, but I had a pretty good support network around me and Sarah being one of those people, and um, she did a lot for me while I was injured. Um, so I, I was able to get through it and the last kind of six months has gone pretty quick. She's so determined and everything that she does is incredible and like I love her for it and I'll always be there to help and support her. <laughs> I was quite young um, when I was first diagnosed with anemia um, and I think, well we were talking about it earlier and Sarah was saying that she remembers me just sleeping all day and I'd go home and I'd crash and I then started getting pretty dizzy and then it wasn't until I actually started to faint a little bit and then mum and dad realised something was wrong. I started to realise a difference in myself when I was probably about 15, 16. It was almost like a chronic fatigue kind of feeling. You're just so drained and the dizzy spells came a little bit and I think it was just that feeling of, oh, don't worry, I'll push it aside. It's just, just because I'm tired or sport is getting the best of me. We're training six days a week. Even going back into training um, and even catching up with friends and stuff or um, once we'd finish school, I'd go home and sleep. So I, I kind of lost a bit of my social life as well um, because, yeah, I was just too tired to do anything. Well, I ended up going to the doctors and it was as simple as rocking up and they were able to do a couple of little tests and they diagnosed me with iron deficiency. The first treatment for me was an oral treatment so I was able to take some supplements. Eventually the underlying cause was um, malabsorption which I mean there's multiple causes, you can heavy bleeding, malabsorption, all that sort of thing but I ended up having an iron infusion probably just before um, my season last year and I think um, my, our doctors manage just by having lots of tests and we'll get, I'll, well both of us will get regular tests um, done probably a couple, couple times every few months. I honestly wish that I knew earlier. It would have been as simple as going to my doctor and seeing them and I could have done that probably two, three years earlier and saved myself from being so fatigued and literally out of it at times. You want to be able to do the things you do best and whether that's work, sport, seeing friends and family, it, you're able to do those things that you love doing and that's probably the best part about it is that now we're back to normal and we can live our lives like any other person.